Hey guys, this is Game Tech Super Show. I'm back with another video after a long break. I really apologize. School has been crazy, but finally, uh, major tests out of the way, and I can get back to making videos. That's really good. Now, I want to make a good video uh, about just all the apps that I have installed on my Windows 10 uh, laptop. I've had Windows 10 for quite a while now. Uh, I was in the Insider Preview. I'm still on the Insider Preview, as you can see. Build 10,565. I will be doing more videos about the Insider Preview and everything, uh, universal apps that are coming. But uh, here we go. I'm just going to show you guys the apps I have on my Windows 10 PC. Um, and of course, best place to start is the Start Menu. So here we go right here. Uh, my most used apps are Google Chrome, um, the Mail app. I It's a little glitchy, I'll admit it, but it's quick and I like that. Spotify, Steam, Internet Explorer just for the rare occasion. I actually don't know why it's still there. I definitely don't use it more than like Notepad. Um, and then Notepad. <clears throat> I have the Weather app pinned, which I'm going to blur out because, I mean, location. I have iHeartRadio. Uh, Wonderlist, which is my to-do list of choice, Evernote for taking notes, Google Drive for syncing, of course, and I also back up my notes there. The Calendar, uh, Live Tile, which I find very useful, the Twitter app, which is actually awesome that I'm going to go into more detail later, and the Free Dictionary app for just looking up words, um, and it has a word of the day, um, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so let's get into these apps. So Adobe Reader, I don't willingly have this, but I feel like it's sort of necessary for reading PDFs properly. Alarms and Clock, <clears throat> I use this occasionally just to time stuff. Audacity is very useful for video editing and audio editing specifically in the video editing. Uh, Biotics is actually a game uh, from the Windows Store. It's not universal, but it's a Windows 10 app. Let me just mute this. And... Actually, yeah, but but it's a really really cool game um, about just spreading like colonies. It's it's pretty fun. Uh, nothing really special, um, but it's a very rare Windows 10 app from the store that is really good. <coughs> uh, calculator, calendar, camera, chess base is the chess choice uh, I use. I've got Fritz and Play Chess installed. I'm a big chess person, so that's what I do. Contact support, I did, no one uses that, let's be honest here. Cortana, of course, the dictionary app, like I said. Um, <clears throat> again, Evernote for taking apps. Uh, Flash Integer is actually the company of the video editor I use, which is VSDC Free Video Editor. I have a video about that, actually, that you should check out if you're interested. Really old video, really bad video, but just saying. Uh, Flux, actually, um, <clears throat> I highly recommend this. I'm going to be reviewing this later. Um, uh, it actually tints the screen uh, as sunset and night happens to make it yellow so you will go to sleep sooner, like once you're trying to go to sleep. And I've actually, I think, it might be placebo, but I think I've noticed better sleep from it. Um, and it's more soothing to the eye, that's for sure. It's actually running down here right now, the circle indicator. And as you can see, it has a temperature set to 3400 because of where it knows the sunset is. Um to keep going here, get started, GIMP. I occasionally use it, it's really complicated, and I'm still learning all about it, but it's there. Chrome, Drive, Groove Music. I occasionally use Groove Music for local files, but nothing really special. iHeartRadio again. Um, <clears throat> I actually have a like 10-year-old Monopoly that runs on Windows XP installed because it's cool. Um, insider Hub because, you know, I'm an insider. Um, <clears throat> LibreOffice is my uh, I guess offline editing app of choice. I rarely use it because Google Drive is where I do everything, but just in case to open up like docx files that don't have par good compatibility, I go with LibreOffice. I have the whole suite here. Mail, Maps. I have opened Maps a grand total of two times. I, I Google Maps is just quicker. Uh, messaging, brand new app in uh, build 10,565. I will be doing videos on the messaging app because I find it interesting. It does work with Skype. I tried it. So, yeah, it's it's a baby beta. I mean, there's really nothing there. It's not a very good UI at all. But it's there. <clears throat> it's moving along, and I'm excited to see where it can go. I'm a little bit confused by the Skype redundancy. Like, do I need to install Skype now? Um, Microsoft Edge, Minesweeper, and Solitaire. I did not buy them because that's ridiculous. Um, but I did install the free versions because they're cool and I got bored. Um, <laughs> if you want uh, any more details about these apps, like a run-through, just comments and I'll get to it. 
Um, I'm, I'm gonna be making a lot more videos now. Money, movies, and TV. Mumble because I do the occasional like light gaming, and that's what I use. News, OneDrive, OneNote. OneNote is incredibly unreliable for me, which is why I use Evernote because I think OneNote is better, but it, it wipes my all my notes sometimes, and I find it very bad. OBS is what I use to record. It's amazing. I've done a video on it. You should definitely get it if you're screencasting. Paint.net is my photo editor of choice because it's simpler than GIMP. Um, but it's, and I think it's also quicker to get basic stuff done. Uh, but GIMP is more full-featured people because, you know, people, um, again, the default app. Periodic table because I do go to school and I need to know my elements. Uh, it's not a universal app. There are very few universal apps, but it's a nice Windows 10 app. Um, you can scroll and go through the elements, and it has a lot of information about the elements. So I really like it. I think it's a great app. Um, it's the ads. I barely really even. They're not really that intrusive. Uh, phone. Again, another new one. Actually, uh, part of this uh, Windows 10 build, which is pretty cool. Uh, but the phone app really isn't anything major. I mean, it's nothing right now. You can call people, but it only works with Windows Phone. As we know, no one has Windows Phone. So, you know, that's that's something to keep in consideration. I was just checking if I was actually recording there. Uh, phone Companion app. It's pretty cool, actually, but I personally don't plug my phone into my laptop very often, so I don't have a very big use for it. Photos app. Not fast, not full featured. I will probably end up using the Windows Photo Viewer more. I don't really know what this is, to be honest with you. Um, it just probably came in with another application. Rain Meter is, I have installed, it's like a desktop application. Let me see if I can actually boot it up here. So as you can see, it does like widgets on the actual desktop. I find it pretty redundant with the start menu stuff, but it's there. It's, it can be incredibly useful. I just, you have to find specific themes and widgets for it. And I'm just, haven't gotten to that yet. I'm probably going to uninstall it pretty soon. It's not that useful with start menu widgets anyway. Reader, uh, Rest Life Notes is my simple note client <clears throat> that I haven't used in quite a while actually. Skype, because Skype, Skype Video, another one of those really default apps that's in there. I'm not going to show you my face anytime soon. Uh, sports, Spotify, Spotify is my music listening app of choice. It's actually open right now over here. Um, whoa. Let's go back. Um, and then Steam, because again, I do some games. I play these like on the weekends for an hour or two. No, really nothing major there. Uh, the store, Sway, again, I don't use it much, but it seems like a really cool app that I feel like if I had a use for it, it'd be awesome. I just don't use it. But, you know, it's there. It comes with this build of Windows. Uh, so that's definitely nice to see. TI tools because unfortunately everyone has to use TI 84 calculators and they suck but you have to use them and that's the tools that comes with it. Toshiba because it's a Toshiba laptop and they have their own suite. Twitter because Twitter app is <coughs> excuse me. Twitter app is getting significantly better. I know I don't live in Chicago or New York. Um but Twitter app is getting way better. I really like it. Um I think it's just really nice features. Uh, I'll do a more in-depth video about the Twitter app, but I think the Twitter app is really good, so I have it. I use it pretty often. W voice quarter, weather, uh, all this W stuff is pretty basic, really. Windows Media Player, Wonderlist again, and the Xbox app, which I don't use because I don't have an Xbox. Or a PS4. I'm a PC person. I barely do any gaming. But that's pretty much my system, guys. Um, on the desktop here, I have God Mode because I think everyone should have God Mode. I will make a video about God Mode, but I think everyone should have it. <coughs> but that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll be making more videos now, so definitely subscribe to see any of the apps in depth. Um, but that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.